so here i am going to explain you about the closure properties of regular languages mainly there are three properties union intersection and complement okay so union means if there are two languages then the union of two languages become regular okay if i am taking two regular languages and i am performing the union of these two regular languages then we will get the that union will also be a union of two regular languages will also be a regular language if i am taking two regular languages and the intersection of two regular languages is also a regular language okay complement if l is a regular language then complement is also a regular language okay so this is the case if l l the two regular languages represented by l and m if l is a regular language and m is a regular language then the union of these two regular language become a regular language then complement if l is a regular language then complement means epsilon star minus l that is also a regular language intersection of two regular language is a regular language set difference of two regular language is a regular language reverse of a language reverse of a if l is a regular language then the reverse of this l is also a regular language okay so union of two regular language is a regular language intersection of two regular language is intersection of a regular two regular language is a regular language complement of a regular language is a regular language set difference of two regular language is a regular language and finally the reverse of a regular language is also a regular language so just example if i am taking a regular language l1 equal to a power m b power m such that n and m greater than or equal to 1 okay just i draw a finite automata dfa for this particular language any number of a's followed by any number of b's okay any number of a's followed by any number of b's okay so complement means non final state become final state okay see so this is a final state in the complement this become non final state okay so this will acts as set of all strings which contains m number of a's followed by m number of b's okay the complement of this an m number of a's is not followed by m number of b's m number of a's not followed by m number of b's that is this particular l1 dash that is a complement of the language l1 okay that is non final state become final state and final state become non final state then intersection of two regular languages if i am taking two regular languages then the intersection is also a regular see this is a language this is a dfa for the particular language l1 this is a language sorry dfa for a particular language l2 okay then i am just uh, intersecting this intersection means common okay here q0 is the starting state here also q no q01 is the starting state of this particular language that is this for this particular dfa dfa1 and for dfa2 q02 is the uh starting state okay so q01 q02 okay so q01 on a goes to q01 on a goes to q11 so q01 on a goes to q11 the next is q02 on a q02 is in this language q02 on a is going to q12 q1 then q01 q02 on b q01 while seeing b it is not going to anywhere okay fine then q02 q1 uh, q02 on b no q02 in b it is going to q02 but phi union b is phi intersection b is phi okay if one if if a particular state on a particular input symbol is not going to anywhere then no need to check the other dfa because it is intersection okay here q01 on q01 on b it is not going anywhere q01 on a is only there q01 on b is not showing okay so no need to check for the next symbol q02 to on b no need to check because here phi intersection q02 like it become phi then next here the new state is q11 q12 okay so i wrote the state here q11 q12 q11 on a q11 on a goes to q11 then q12 on a q12 on a goes to q22 q22 okay then q11 on b q11 on b goes to q21 q12 on b goes to q 1 2 on b goes to q 0 2 okay then complete this particular transition table and draw the dfa okay here starting state is q 0 1 and q 0 2 so in the transition table also this is a starting state so while drawing q 0 1 q 0 2 is the starting state and here final states are q 2 1 sorry q uh, 
वन वन क्यू वन टू एंड क्यू टू टू सॉरी दिस इज क्यू टू वन ओके सो क्यू टू वन एंड क्यू टू टू आर द फाइनल स्टेट सो हियर इफ दे आर गेटिंग एनी स्टेट विच इज हैविंग क्यू टू वन और क्यू टू टू दैट बिकम द फाइनल स्टेट हियर क्यू टू वन Q21 and Q02 is the final state here. So Q21 and Q02 is the final state of this particular table. Okay. If I am taking this one, Q11, Q11 is not the final state here. So this is this state will not be final state. Okay. If I am taking Q11, Q12, Q11 is this. This is non-final state. So this state will not be a final state. Then Q21, Q02. Here Q21 is a final state. Q02 is also a final state. Both states are final state. So in the uh, corresponding, the final, uh, um, what is DFA after intersection, this becomes the final state because both states are final state in the given DFAs. Okay. So just see the states and draw the transition. Okay. Q01, Q02 is our state. On A, it is going to Q11, Q12, Q11, Q12 on A. On B, it is not going anywhere. Then Q11, Q12 on A, it is going to Q11, Q22. Q11, Q12 on A, it is going to Q11, Q22. Q11, Q12 on B, it is going to Q21, Q02. Q11, Q12 on B, it is going to Q21, Q02. Okay, so just complete this. So man, mark the initial state and the final state. Since the both the states are final in these two DFAs, we are marking this as the final state. Next is reversal of a language. Okay, so reverse means a a suppose w is a language w equal to a one a two etc a n. Reverse means from reverse. Okay, that is a n a n minus one etc up to a one. That is a w raised to a. That is a reverse of this particular language. Okay, so if I am writing this is our DFA. This is a raised to n followed by a raised to m. Just see in the complement also it is a raised to n, b raised to m. Okay, raised to m. Uh, earlier I wrote a raised to m, b raised to m, because equal number of a's followed by equal number of b's. For that particular uh, language is not a regular language. We can't construct automata for that one. Okay, is it by mistake? Just clear that it is a raised to n followed by b raised to m. N number of a's followed by m number of b's. Okay, if I am writing A raised to m, b raised to m means equal number of a's followed by equal number of b's. It is not regular. We can't construct an automata for this particular uh, language because we are counting the number of a's and counting the number of b's and comparing the number of a's and b's. Since the automata, finite automata is having limited memory, counting, storing, and comparing is not possible. Okay, so this is not a regular language. So this is a raised to n, b raised to m, n number of a's followed by m number of b's. so let's come to the reversal portion so reversal okay the language is a raised to n b raised to m such that n comma m greater than or equal to 1 okay just i wrote the automata uh, a n a is followed by m b's okay then dfa we need to show the transition on every input symbol we show the transition on a here we show the transition on a and b here we show the transition on b and we didn't show the transition on a from q2 so we are going to that state from q0 we are not showing the transition on b so we are going to that state because starting with n number of a's it is not starting with b so whenever we are seeing b it is going to the dead state it should end with b it should not end with a so from the final state whenever we are seeing a it is going to the dead state okay so reversal means instead of this transition just give the reverse transition and can make the starting state as a final state Okay. and the final state becomes the starting state okay so, so the starting state in the reversal starting state become the final state and final state become the starting state also you need to reverse a transition okay so if l is a regular language then l power r that is reversal of that language is also a regular we can draw the automata we can write the regular expression okay so in the next video i will explain you how to convert a dfa to regular expression Okay, we can convert a finite automata to regular finite automata to regular expression as well as a regular expression to finite automata. Okay, 